Welcome to the Crimson Engine. I've been thinking a lot about my next feature film lately, what I want to achieve with it, how I want to shoot it. And I realized I've been more and more reluctant to start something new. Life cycle of a feature film stretches from, you know, years to decades where you write a script, then you look for funding, then you go through a long series of negotiations, then hopefully you get some distribution up front, then you find cast that helps the distribution. And it can be two or three or four years until you really have the pieces in place to go ahead and shoot the film. And then it can be another two or three years until that film sees the light of day. And it's made me wonder, isn't there another way? Instead of trying to go down the Hollywood route where you have a crew of seven or eight or 10 people, you have a cast of, you know, a dozen or so, is there a way to come up with just as interesting stories, but with a smaller cast and to shoot them yourself, not require anyone else's funding, not require anyone else's permission to save all that time going back and forth, save all that time pitching your ideas and uh, making them more palatable. What if you just grabbed a camera, found the right people and found an interesting story and went about and told it directly? And it's a possibility that has become more and more attractive to me as the time goes on. Because as a film director, you do very little directing. You do a lot of organizing, a lot of pitching, a lot of writing and rewriting. What if we could reduce this job to just making the critical creative decisions and remaking them so that you got closer and closer towards the film that you think is important, the film that you think will be good? To do that, you would have to take on most of the roles of the crew. You'd be the writer, director, cinematographer, art director, location manager, production designer, sound recordist. And one person can, of course, not do all those jobs as well as someone who's dedicated just to that profession and has years of experience. But with how great cameras are, how great new lights are, and how great new lenses are, I really think that there's a possibility not of achieving a Hollywood level of sheen, but at least of telling a really powerful story in a powerful way. One that is uniquely yours, one that is not dumbed down or compromised in any way, shape or form. I feel so much is lost in the constant discussion and constant negotiation and constant compromise that if you stick to what you know and love and just shoot it, you will find a way to make that a good film. There are lots of advantages to this approach. There's so much less distraction with the actors when there aren't half a dozen people standing around. Yes, the process is going to be slower because the one person is going to be putting the camera down and moving lights and picking the camera up. But I'm not sure that slower is worse. Maybe slower is better. Maybe having scenes take longer to film, but in a more concentrated way allows actors to connect more with their character and with the filmmaking process. You have less pressure to do things the quote unquote right way and more time to see something interesting on set and then encourage that to grow and bloom and flower. As I was investigating this approach, I was wondering if there are more filmmakers out there making films like this. And I came across Hong Sang Soo. He's a Korean filmmaker who's made 26 films in the last 20 years. Yes, they are mainly domestic dramas. Most of the scenes are made up of one long shot he works more or less without a script. And since 2020, he has been the writer, director, producer, composer, editor, and cinematographer of his movies. And he's made two a year. I'm not saying that everyone should make a film like this, but I'm saying that if the game of Hollywood and the lottery of becoming a successful mainstream director has lost its appeal for you, this may be a way to make the films that you want to make in the way that you want to make them without asking anyone else's permission, without having to compromise your vision in the slightest. I really believe that if you want to get good at something, you have to do it over and over again for a really long time. That is the only way anyone has ever got good at anything. If this type of filmmaking appeals to you as it's appealing more and more to me, it's a matter of going down that path and seeing how that process works, whether or not you like it and whether or not it gets you the result that you want. 
in my experience, if you love doing something, you do it long enough to get good at it. And if you do something long enough, other people will take notice and you will eventually find a way to become successful at it. YouTube has been a huge help with this because obviously I'm shooting all the time for YouTube, almost always solo. And to be honest, it has really made me fall in love with filmmaking again. It's something that I want to do now instead of something that I need to do. I'm going to investigate this whole process more and I'll keep you up to date with what I decide to do. I think it would be amazing if all the fantastic new technology that film has gained in the last 10 years, instead of going into making bigger and bigger films for a lower and lower common denominator, that it make more and more interesting films for a smaller and smaller market, which suddenly becomes viable. If you're interested in filmmaking, check out Canon Masterclass. I have a ton of courses up there. I just launched a new course on low budget horror filmmaking, very much along these lines of shoot it yourself or with one other person. You can check it out at canonmasterclass.com. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.